Morning guys, so I'm back in the pool to talk about this video. This is going to be a really short video because it was actually more footage from the night dive I did the other day, but I wanted to make a video of it on my own because it was it was more the purpose of that dive. Uh, when I went out, I went to the specific site where my marine biologist friend Klaus, he likes to study this really rare pipefish called a mushroom coral pipefish super small super super hard to film and he showed me where they are on a dive before and i mean i kind of filmed them but i failed and so he went out and showed me how he filmed them and you know obviously you want the face you want a face shot where you can see all the features and stuff you need a really small macro lens because they're tiny um so I was like, all right, on this night dive, that's where we're going to go. We're going to go to this spot. And I didn't find them. I didn't find them in that spot. And then two minutes later, I found two. Two mushroom corals full of these really rare mushroom coral pipefish. So I'm sorry. I just realized how freaking nerdy this, this sounds. But my whole goal was to find these really rare mushroom coral pipefish a species that not a lot is known about uh and to get really good footage of them like i said i've seen them before but my goal on this dive was to get their face uh my friend my biologist friendly showed me his position of the camera how he set it up and had to just leave it all these little tips anyways take a look at the footage i i got i I think it was amazing. Just this footage alone is awesome, but when you combine it with the rest of the night dive footage that you guys saw, mind blowing dive. Definitely gonna do more. So I'm sorry if this is super nerdy, but it's gonna be short. I just wanna show you this. Some of you will enjoy it. Bye. <laughs> Critter Hunter. So when he heard that I was going to make a video about the mushroom coral pipefish, my marine biologist friend Klaus did a write-up on his blog all about the pipefish so that I had some information to share with you guys. And I'm just going to read straight from his blog and you guys could go down and click and read more if you would like. So here's some information about the mushroom coral pipefish from Klaus Steifel. One of the most unusual fishes among a zoo of amazing marine fishes in the Philippines is the mushroom coral pipefish. This fish is a relative of the seahorse, but in fact looks like a pale thin worm wiggling in between the tentacles of a mushroom coral. Only when you look more closely do you see that it has a mouth and a pair of eyes like a fish, and a dangerous looking red line going through its eye. The scientific name for this fish is something I can't pronounce. Named after the Sayacon Bay, just north of Zamboanga City, on the west coast of Zamboanga Peninsula. Dawen de Maguete, where I saw the fish recently, is just a few 100 kilometers to the northeast where the fish was initially found. The adult mushroom coral pipefish doesn't leave its host coral, so the distribution through the southern central Philippines must happen via larvae. As in all pipefish and seahorses, the male fish carries the fertilized eggs in a pouch or attached to its belly, and only when the larvae hatch does it disperse over wider distances in the open ocean. The mushroom coral pipefish is only known from Indonesia Papua New Guinea and the Philippines. I had seen them a few times when I moved to Dao in 2014, but not for a few years until my friend Matt found them on a dive site in the area in a single mushroom coral. These pipefish have been there in the same pair of adjacent corals continuously for almost a year now. As adults, the mushroom coral pipefish is exclusively on the mushroom coral. These corals, the fungidae, are hard corals composed of only a single large polyp. That's unusual since most corals are colonies of many thousands, often very small polyps. The mushroom coral polyps also feature rather large tentacles 
and in between these, the pipefish hide. The complete link of the fish's life history to an invertebrate host is called commensalism. The amazing camouflage of the pipefish, they resemble the veins at the floor of the mushroom coral, is an adaptation which evolved very specifically for the fish to survive on these corals. The evolution towards matching the features of another animal is called coevolution. So that's it guys, just a little bit of information about a fish that really has no information out there about it. And now on the same coral, let me show you one of his little crab neighbors. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this that are informational about a single species, let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.